Hey everyone, want to continue our study of the book of John. Um, so to continue that, we're going to pick up um, after we uh, were introduced to John the Baptist and him telling people that Jesus is the Lamb of God. Uh, we continue with him actually doing that again in verse 35. So in verse 35 of chapter 1 of the book of John, we have, The next day, again, John was standing with two of his disciples. And he looked at Jesus as he walked by and said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him say this, and they followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following and said to them, What are you seeking? And they said to him, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they came and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day, for it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed Jesus was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother Simon and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which means Christ. He brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You shall be called Cephas, which means Peter, or rock. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Uh, so in this passage, we actually get Jesus is getting his first followers. And as he's doing that, we, we notice something. His very first followers are actually disciples of John the Baptist. And John the Baptist points to Jesus and says he's the Lamb of God. And they decide, hey, Jesus is probably worth following. And very quickly, actually, um, Andrew goes and tells his brother, who wasn't following John the Baptist at that moment, and tells Peter, or the Simon, who we now know as Peter, um, uh, we found the Messiah. Uh, you should come follow him. Let's let's go do this immediately. Um, and so that's what's going on with uh, with with Peter. And then a similar thing happens later with Philip. Philip comes and he also realizes, hey, this is who all the prophecies have been about, this Jesus guy, um, Nathaniel, my friend, who's from my same hometown you should come and join me. And of course, Nathaniel at first is just kind of skeptical. He's just like, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Like, what kind of a city is Nazareth to produce a prophet? Like, eh. And then very quickly, um, when Jesus says, oh, I, I actually, I saw you under the fig tree over there. Um, even though I wasn't actually there, somehow I am aware that you were under a fig tree. And that impresses Nathaniel so much that he's willing to follow him. And Jesus is like, okay, this was a really small miracle. Um, you're going to see greater ones. You're going to see angels coming up and, you know, ascending and descending on the Son of Man. You're going to see more. Um, so get ready for that. Um, so kind of the question maybe is, what does this really mean for us? Well, one thing that we can see is that when people met Jesus, things changed and they often changed very quickly. For these first disciples of Jesus, it didn't take long getting to know Jesus for them to realize, oh, this guy might actually be the chosen one. He might be the Messiah. Um, we should follow him. We should be with him and, and see where this goes. And I think that that kind of um, nearly instant uh, decision to follow Jesus is the kind of decision that we can make, the decision to go all in, just like they did. Um, might seem harder for us to do um, because you know we're not physically talking to him the way that they were but um, at the same time uh, we are called and we have 
um, knowledge of Jesus and, and his presence in, in the form of the Holy Spirit, where we can also choose to follow him. And then the second thing is we see that the people who did follow Jesus almost immediately went and found their family members or their close friends and told them, hey, you should follow Jesus too. And I know right now, as we're kind of hunkering down in the time of coronavirus, it might seem harder to go get people to follow Jesus, particularly if your family already follows Jesus. Um, but give someone a call. Tell them about Jesus. Tell them uh, how you have found um, hope in, in the midst of a difficult time because of Jesus. Um, that's the sort of thing that uh, the disciples were doing. Um, of course, they could do it physically, but but we still have phones. We still have that ability to connect with people. Um, so that's my encouragement to you is, is make Jesus known. And if you want to continue thinking more about this passage, um, one of the big questions that I have where I'm just like, oh, I, I don't really know um, it, it, that I could really reflect on more is what is it about Jesus seeing Nathaniel under the fig tree that's so convincing to Nathaniel that he realizes that Jesus is the son of God and the king of Israel? Um, how does that, that little bit of knowledge convince him so much? And then the second thing um, that we can think about is just, who should I go tell about Jesus right now? Um, who needs to hear about him and, and needs to make that decision to follow him? Um, so those are some, some things to think about as you're pondering this passage more. And I look forward to um, talking to you more about John.